next we're gonna do a little bit of phonemic awareness. Some of the things are things you've done before and some are new, so just hang with me. The first part is rhyming. So I'm going to say a set of three words and you have to tell me which of the two rhyme. So they don't all rhyme together. The first one is get, fat, rat. Which two of those rhyme? Fat, rat, very good. How about this? Log, wig, big. Big, wig. How about rub, cab, tub? Rub and tub rhyme. How about this? Gum, ham, hum. Gum and hum. Can you guys think of something that rhymes with pan? Good. Can you think of something that rhymes with rat? Can you think of something that rhymes with jump? So the next part we're going to do is I'll say a silly nonsense word. It's not a real word, but it rhymes with an animal. So for example, if I say torse, that rhymes with horse. So no matter what I say, it's going to be an animal rhyming. How about mog, dog? How about farilla, gorilla? How about jolfin, dolphin? How about mm, biger? Tiger. And lured? Bird. Very good. The next one we're going to do is <clears throat> final sounds. So whatever word we say, we're going to hit the, our hand and say the final sound, okay? So the first one is tub. Tub. B, b, b. Robe. Robe. B, b, b. Men. Men. Mm, mm, mm. Take, take, good. So now we're gonna change that. I'm gonna say two words that have the same ending sound, the same final consonant. And you have to just say what the sound is. So if I say tub, fib, you say b. Ride, sad, d. Cuff, if, f. Bug, tag, g. Will, sell, ul. Hug, peg, g. Jump, tap, p. Good. How about these are three words and you have to say what the ending sound is. Kate, ate, late, t. Big, bug, dug, g. Dave, drove, twelve, v. Chad, had, old, bread, D. And last one, Brad found old wood. D. Good job. Next up, we are going to take apart syllables. So the first ones we're going to do are all two syllable words, okay? So if I say useful, you break it apart and say useful, okay? Table, table, jungle. Jungle. How about hammer? Ham er. How about explode? Explode. Circle. Circle. Nickel. Nick ol. Handle. Handle. Hamster. Ham stir. Last one is ladder. Ladder. All right, next part. Okay, if I have a word and I take something away, that's called deletion. Okay, I'm taking it away, like click, click, delete. So I'm going to say a word and then tell you what to take away. And you have to think of what the new word is. If I say painful and I want you to take away full, what is the new word? Pain. If I have helpful and I want you to take away full, what is the new word? Help. 
If I have hopeful and I want you to take away full, what is the new word? Hope. Good. This time we're taking off the ing. So we're not taking um, full off anymore. We're taking off ing. Ready? The word is playing. If I take off ing, I get play. If I have counting and I take off ing, I have count. If I have, um, okay, now the new one is I'm taking off the e sound. And sometimes it's spelled with a y, but it's an e sound. So if I say chunky and I want you to take off the e sound, what is the new word? Chunk. And if I have speedy and I take off the e, you get speed. And last one, funny. Take off the E, you get fun. Good job. Last but not least, I'm going to say a sentence with lots of inflection. You repeat it, and then we decide how many words are in that sentence, okay? It's really good practice to try to match my inflection, okay? This says, can you come to my house? You go. Now let's clap and find out how many words there are. Can you come to my house? Six words. Good job. I like to go shopping. Now you go. Let's clap it out. I like to go shopping. Five words. Next one. I like to hear music. You go. Let's clap it out. I like to hear music. I got five. Good. Next one. I see planes in the sky. You go. Let's clap it out. I see planes in the sky. I got six. Okay, last one. I always try my best. You go. Ready? I always try my best. Five words. And I hope that is true. I think I have been seeing amazing work from all of you, so I think you are trying your best. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll see you soon.